My name is Jenna Thomas. Um, working here at Beacon of Hope. We started in 2002 working in the community with the, um, those infected and affected by HIV and AIDS. A lot of vulnerable women who are involved in a lot of prostitution, but for them it was so, they never saw it as prostitution, they saw it as a way of earning a livelihood. So we rented a building in a center which served as a medical center. But as the numbers increased, we realized that we needed to think broad and look focused into the future. We had already a clear vision on what we wanted to have a comprehensive medical center where the community can come and have decent care, care and treatment. So we were fortunate to move here in 2008. And when we moved, it was, it was a blessing. But for me as a CEO, it was a disaster. <laughs> I'd actually refused to move because I could see the magnitude of work and what it means. So I realized that I needed different um, skills in terms of leadership just to be able to manage this whole complex. And uh, around, around that time, MBI came along. I came for the training and for me it was a blessing. And it was like an answer to my prayers. So when I came for the training, I was like a sponge. So to a large extent, MDI to really help me resolve some of those issues. And I came with Judy, with my program manager, but is also my assistant. And the fact that we were together really, really helped because she's much more on the ground here. And then when we came for MDI, we also wanted to grow our numbers in the clinic. We had targeted at 100, but now there are days that we're actually hitting to over 230 people on a day. And we, when we worked on our chip, we came and empowered everybody in the clinic. But the chip became such a great idea, we moved it on. We we sold the idea to our other programs. The cheap thing became the, the, the way of scaling up, you know, and maintaining quality at the same time. And then also being able to monitor whether what we're offering was actually good quality in terms of service. Yeah, and we're grateful because it's actually because of the information that we learned from MDI that we're able to continue providing the quality of care. We actually have become a referral center. When other clinics around this area cannot handle some of the difficult cases, they have been referring them here. But now with the empowerment that we received through the training and other trainings that we've gone thereafter, we've been able to cope in terms of the HR systems that we have put in place. And of course the quality of care and quality of service that we're giving to the people here as well as the community outside there. My prayer and hope is all my senior management team can actually go through MDI training. Because when they all go through that training, we'll be talking from the same page. If all the centers take what we are, we, they learn at MDI seriously, then the community actually will be transformed. The quality of care that we're actually giving our people will be, um, will be transformational. We'll actually have less death. We'll have less wastage, wastage of resources. We'll have much more professionalism. We'd want to really thank uh, Johnson & Johnson for the partnership with AMREF in, in, this, in this training. Because for me, I don't know what I've actually have done with that MDI thing. When we moved here, it was too huge a growth and MDI came just at the right time to kind of guide me and mentor me to the next level. So I'd want to just acknowledge you as Johnson & Johnson and commend you and to encourage you not to give up, to continue even putting more resources into MDI to see more Kenyans empowered and to see more people in Africa empowered because I guess that's a solution for Africa.